Hey guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. It's day three, I guess. One more day to go. And we just stopped by at the ST Ericsson booth and we're taking a look at the new Nova Thor L8580. Well, they've been showing already a platform or a demo unit at CES that was running at 2.8 gigahertz. But now we're going to take a look at a 3 gigahertz version. What you can see over here is the application launch time for a game that is called Skycast. And you can download this on the Google Play Store. It's a really graphic, intense and heavy game and it takes a proper time to load, right? especially when you're having a quad core. Well, not only especially when you're having a quad core, even when you're having a quad core, like I have over here on my Samsung Galaxy Note 2. And you can see how drastically they lowered the launch time of this game with the new, it's called E-Quad. It's a dual core Cortex A9, it's using the Mali 400 GPU and it's running at 3 gigahertz. And there's another little benchmark over here that's showing you at the transcoding time before the YouTube upload from full HD to a 720p. And once again, you know, if you're combining this, the HSC One X is running on a Tegra. Oh, no, oh, I'm impressed on this. <laughs> that was a touch screen, kind of yes. nice. Okay, there we go. Um, that one is running on a Tegra 3, right, and a quad core. We have the Nexus 4 over here, which comes with the Snapdragon uh, S4 Pro and the Galaxy S3 with the Exynos. So basically, these are the fastest quad-core smartphones that are available on the market. And once again, now take a look at the E-Quad A9 from ST Ericsson, and you can definitely see a difference. Um, well, you know how it is with benchmarks that are on a slide. Let's just prove this. And uh, we have Francois over here from ST Ericsson. It's going to help us a little bit to launch the Sky Castle yes, on right. these two devices. We have the Samsung Galaxy S3 on the right side and the ST Ericsson demo unit on the left side. Now take a look at this. So you can see the two cores are working. And, and now it's going to switch over to the GPU. The game is already running. While the S3 is finally there. So it took roughly about nine seconds on the ST Ericsson platform, while it took about 18 seconds on the Samsung Galaxy S3, which is quite impressive. We also have a tablet demo unit here that, got, uh, that we're going to compare to the Nexus 10, which is running the new ARM Cortex A9, that's the Exynos 5250 from Samsung. And over here, the one on the left is running the L8580 E quad. And once again, you can see both cores are working. And there we go. Still a huge difference, but not not as much of a difference as compared to the other Cortex A9, but you can definitely see, you know, what a, what a dual-core processor uh, that is based on a Cortex A9 still can do. So that was a very, very first look at the Nova Thor L8580. I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching.